Here is something I'm sure of. The little things in life are the big things. I didn't know that when I was young. Back then, I thought it was all about the big stuff. Now, I know better. Big stuff can be seen in the little stuff. The little things in life are the big things. Now, Jesus taught this, you know. In today's passage from Luke's Gospel, he did say, whoever is faithful with a very little is also faithful with much. Whoever is dishonest with a very little is also dishonest with much. Now, I have a contemporary story that underlines what Jesus said. There was a little boy named Freddy. Now, when Freddy was six, he was in the car with his dad. His dad was speeding, and the town cop pulled the car over. The dad slipped a $50 bill to the cop along with his license to avoid getting a ticket. Now, Freddy's watching this, and the dad quietly says to him, don't worry, son, everybody does it. Well, when Freddy was nine, he went shopping with his mom. <coughs> the checkout clerk accidentally gave too much change, a $50 bill instead of a five. Freddy's mom quietly slipped the money into her purse. Freddy noticed this, but she said, everybody does it. When Freddy was 16, he got a job in a grocery store. His boss told him to hide the overripe tomatoes in the bottom of the baskets and put the greener ones on top. And the boss said, it's just good business. Well, eventually Fred goes off to college. One day another student offers to sell him the answers to a big exam coming up. Fred thinks about it and buys the answers. But then he gets caught and he, he gets kicked out of that college for cheating. His parents are totally upset and they say, how could you do this to us? If there's anything everyone hates, it's dishonesty. Jesus said, whoever is faithful with a little will be faithful with much. And whoever is dishonest with a little will be dishonest with much. The little things in life are the big things. This applies to honesty. And you know it also applies to helpfulness. Life is full of opportunities that might seem small. This coming week, you and I are not likely to end a war or write a Pulitzer Prize winning book or come up with a great new invention that's going to change the world. But we are very likely to have the opportunity to do one of these things. Send a kind note or card to someone. Visit somebody who's lonely. Give someone a word of encouragement. Share a meal with somebody. Read a story to a little child. Do a chore for a neighbor. Help out with a feeding program for the needy. That one's happening right now at the canteen. <coughs> the little things in life are the big things. A small gesture at the right time makes a big difference. Little stuff can have such a big impact. So this, Jesus, this teaching of Jesus applies to honesty and it applies to helpfulness. And you know it also applies to happiness. The little things in life are the big things when it comes to happiness. You can't go to Disneyland every day. You can't go to a pro sports event every day. You can't go to the greatest party in your life every day. But you can find joys every day in the little ordinary things. I've got a book on my shelves at home called Endangered Pleasures. It's a great little book by a woman named Barbara Holland. She claims that joy has been leaking out of our lives. She writes, Somehow bad news is easier to believe and more important than good news. The small pleasures of the ordinary day come to seem almost contemptible. The small pleasures can glance off us lightly. Well, the rest of her book celebrates ordinary pleasures. Taking a hot bath, going on a trip, having a good lunch with a friend, 
enjoying a pet, savoring a good conversation, paying attention to the changing of the seasons, having fun with boats or babies or books. Make your own list. I think she's totally right. Ancient texts from the book of Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament to the Gospels in the New Testament to the Babylonian epic of Gilgamesh to the Greek Epicurean texts all say very similar things. The book of Ecclesiastes, in summary, says, eat well, drink smart, do what you love, love who you can. Yes, there is vanity or emptiness in this world, but the small joys make life worth living. The Babylonian epic of Gilgamesh offers the same wisdom as a wise woman tells King Gilgamesh, who's off on a big quest for wisdom, she says, Embrace whatever joys life has to offer. Know your limits. Accept the human condition. Savor the ordinary sweet pleasures of life. And the simple pleasures that the Greek philosopher Epicurus especially praised are such things as plain but good food, satisfying work, the contemplation of nature, and friendship. And he says that friendship is by far the most important. Jesus himself taught simplicity and community. The little things in life are the big things. That's wisdom. Wisdom from the Jews. Wisdom from the Greeks. Wisdom from Jesus, who is our wisdom. The little things in life are the big things. It goes for honesty in the moral choices we make. It goes for helpfulness in the small acts of kindness we can offer to those who need them. And it goes for happiness, the little joys we can find in each day. So, be honest, be helpful, be happy. Do it in the little things, because the little things are the big thing.